Hi, my name is Bob Aichino. After 12 years developing a system which last year generated a 73.3% win rate and beat the S&P 500 by 254%, I've decided to share my story. I urge you to keep watching because I believe 2021 will be a crucial year for all of us. Rewind about 20 some odd years. I woke up that morning with a terrible headache. The pain was absolutely unbearable. And while I was on the verge of one of the biggest years of my trading career, there was just no way to focus through that kind of pain. I remember how my wife whispering in my ear, do you wanna to go to the hospital? It felt like a sledgehammer to the side of my head. A few hours later, after vomiting from pain, my wife rushed me to the hospital. A long afternoon of painful tests later and nothing. Nobody could tell me what was wrong. They pumped my body with painkillers, scheduled an MRI, and sent me home. Fast forward to Easter weekend. My wife and I would drive to my mother's house to spend the day with her and my father. I woke up that morning and I couldn't see out of my left eye. It wasn't dark, but more as if someone placed like a white sheet of paper over the left side of my face. I kept it to myself thinking it would just clear up. I was wrong. I knew the situation was far too serious for me to continue hiding it from my wife. Once I told her, she forced me to pull over and drove me to the nearest hospital. Just like last time, test after test showed nothing. This time though, they immediately sent me to get an MRI. And the following morning, my doctor said the scariest five words you'll ever hear. You have a brain tumor. It's very difficult to describe what you feel and what you go through when you hear those words. For me, the typical thoughts of family and friends and how much time I might have left flooded into my brain. But something else hit me as well work. My trading career had been moving along in big ways. From my early days on the CME, Chicago Mercantile Exchange trading floor, for working for Japan's third largest brokerage house, to a new role at Smith Barney who had just bought the brokerage house, my success to that point hinged on one thing, my brain. As you can probably imagine, it felt uniquely cruel that the thing I relied on the most was now literally in a position of killing me. I didn't know it at the time, but it was a blessing in disguise. I'm not gonna bore you with the details now, but the important thing to know is the brain tumor devastated my pituitary gland. The pituitary gland is no larger than a pea, and it's often referred to as the master gland of the human body. One of its functions is to control what's known as the stress response. Harvard Medical School puts it this way, as the initial surge of epinephrine subsides, the hypothalamus activates the second component of the stress response system, known as the HPA axis. This network consists of the hypothalamus, the pituitary gland, and the adrenal glands. There's a very complicated neurobiological response your body goes through when confronted with fear or stress. In fact, this process literally alters how you behave. It's this process which makes some people freeze in the face of danger or jump into action. So what does that mean? Well, in a very real way, I have no physical sense of fear or stress. In other words, the biological changes which alter how you think and process information under stress no longer happen to me. Let's say you've been afraid of heights your entire life. Now imagine waking up one morning and being able to stand on the top of the Empire State Building without a care in the world. How would your behavior change from that point forward? What would you do knowing you wouldn't physically feel extreme stress or fear? Well, that's precisely what happened to me. Now, intellectually, I know if I'm in danger or not, but unlike most people, my body doesn't trigger the stress response when faced with stressful situations or emotions. What does this have to do with trading in a stock market? Well, if you're in the stock market, you fall into one of two groups. You either give in to your emotions and follow the crowd, or you ignore the crowd and gain from others' fears. Everyone likes to think they're rational and dispassionate when it comes to trading. You've likely heard the advice of not getting emotional when it comes to trading. Whether by coincidence or not, my trading and investing success skyrocketed after my ordeal. And due to my own natural curiosity, I needed to find out why. I came across an interesting study out of MIT, which found a clear link between emotions and trading performance. The more intense the emotions, the worse the performance. And there's more. According to a popular trading platform, 
80% of traders lose money in just one year. And the median loss is 36.3%. Here's another troubling fact. A North American Securities Administration Association survey concluded 70% of traders will lose nearly all of their money. You've likely heard legendary investor Warren Buffett once say, be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. That's great advice, but most people can't do that. And in fact, it's not even your fault. Most people simply can't control the stress response and the biological chain of events which occur. The fact is, this neurobiological response happens automatically and it alters the way you think. In most cases, this is a good thing. It's your natural fight or flight response. But when it comes to trading, it's completely harmful. Which is why over the last 28 years, I've been developing a system which removes the emotion on your part. Not only have I seen with my own eyes the danger of being too emotional with the markets, I've also experienced how much more successful I've been since my tumor. I began fully running this system with real subscribers back in March of 2020, and here's a quick snapshot of the results. Plus 18.97 in March, plus 4.51 in April, plus 3.98% in May, plus 3.81% in June, minus 3.4% in July, but plus 10.86% in August, minus 2.72 in September, and then again, plus 4.30 in October. Add to that plus 7.15% in November and plus 4.19% in December. That's a cumulative return of 62.79%, which is 254% higher than the SPY, which is the most actively traded ETF that tracks the S&P 500 index. Keep in mind, I'm not talking about theoretical backtesting like some people try to pass off as real results. These are the real published alerts and the results from the system. As you can see, we had two losing months, but the losses are small compared to the wins. That's how the system is designed to work. See, even though we have an over 70% win rate, the reality is all trading systems have some level of risk and all systems generate losers. However, taking this emotionless approach, we've been able to keep the losses to a minimum. Even more important, I'll explain in just a minute how using this system will be even more important in the year 2021. This approach could transform your trading results and lead to life-changing results. And by results, I mean a greater than 70% win rate and beating the overall market by two and a half times in 2020 alone. As I mentioned earlier, I started my career in 1992 as a phone clerk on the CME trading floor. I wasn't very good at it. I struggled in the early year, and I was a horrible trader when I first started. But then I started to gain confidence as I began to understand the markets better. Then in 1996, my brain tumor changed everything. It gave me honestly an unfair advantage because I was finally able to remove emotions from trading. For me, this was very much literal. Over the next decade, my career completely transformed. I went from the Chicago trading pits to some of the biggest banks and brokerage firms in the world. I worked at Smith Barney, and at Germany's Comers Bank. I ran my own commodity pool at a Chicago-based trading firm. I was a principal and a member of the investment committee for a very successful hedge fund of funds. And the list goes on and on. I've also done over 2,000 interviews dealing with the markets, where you may have seen me on CNBC, Bloomberg, Fox Business, Yahoo Finance, TD Ameritrade, and so on. Through all of this, I discovered a very simple truth. Trading is hard and anyone who tells you otherwise is being less than truthful. It can be an expensive roller coaster ride of emotions. When you're on a winning streak, you feel like you're on top of the world, but then you make a few bad decisions and it's all gone. Months of hard work and profits, gone. Sometimes in just one day. I'm sure you've been there. It turns your stomach. You feel dumb, like a failure. Maybe your position was too big. Maybe you didn't cut your losses. Maybe you just held on and hoped the market would turn around. The bottom line is your emotions got in the way. It happens to everyone. Trading can be nerve wracking and sometimes it can get even worse. Take 2001, for example. At the time, I was running a trading desk for Comers Bank Futures. 
Back then, it was the third largest German bank in the world. The day started off as usual. I was on the CME trading floor with other traders. Peter Ori on my left, Paula on my right. When suddenly, the phones lit up like a Christmas tree. Call after call came in, rapid fire, just one right after the other. The pit erupted into an almost deafening roar. This was something I was used to. Anytime a piece of news would happen, hit the wires, or the Fed would make an announcement, you'd get what I could only describe as pure pandemonium. I did what I normally did. I checked our positions and our clients' positions to make sure we weren't overexposed to whatever was causing this roar, then waited for it to die down. This time, though, it didn't die down. This wasn't typical. I looked up at the giant jumbotron on the trading floor and immediately knew this would not be my typical day. A hijacked plane smashed into the World Trade Center. It was September 11th. Then 15 minutes later, another plane crashed. About 45 minutes later, an announcement blasts through the PA system on the trading floor. The United States is under attack. We're told to evacuate, but the desk I was running had a large number of trades still open. I asked anyone with kids to leave and go home to their families. For everyone else, I let them know it was up to them to stay with me as we closed out these trades. But no matter what, I'd be the last one to go. As hard to believe as this may be, I wasn't afraid. I wasn't freaking out, I was very calm. And for the first time, but not for the last time, I remember thinking, thank God I had that brain tumor. I knew the gravity of the situation, but like I said before, I don't exactly feel the fear or stress, which is why I continued to manage the trades. And the last thing I did was to close a trade that I had opened that morning, which I wasn't supposed to do. You see, the rules of that particular system said we were supposed to hold that trade for two business days. But this was an unprecedented event in history, and I knew that the best thing to do when you have no data to go on was to eliminate the risk. Guess what? Turns out that trade was a huge winner and my clients made more than 10 times the money they were supposed to make on that trade. I knew the trading floor was going to be shut down for four days and we had no idea what was going to happen or when it was going to reopen. Doomsday thoughts ran through everyone's mind. Will there be a full-fledged invasion? Are we safe? Will the markets crash? Nobody knew. I learned a few things that day. First, news stories and unexpected events shock and scare people. It doesn't even have to be as big as a terror attack. The fact is, most people go into fight or flight mode quickly and easily. Second, I learned anything can happen at any time, even the impossible. Before 9-11, the general public was completely oblivious to the possibility of a terror attack and th of this scope on our soil. What's worse is, no one can accur accurately predict an event like this. So what do you do if you can't predict these events? How can you safely navigate the market without big losses? Despite all the craziness in the world, in the news, and in politics, how can you consistently beat the market without great stress, without typical hesitation, without constantly watching the market and living tick by tick? Is it even possible? Academic studies going back decades prove time and time again, active traders who watch the market tick by tick have a hard time making money. In fact, the opposite is generally true. They lose money and over time, they tend to lose all their money. The evidence also shows following the crowd is a bad idea. A recent study makes the point obvious. It examined Robinhood traders from May 2018 until August 2020. It looked at events where traders crowded into specific stocks. The most recent example of this is the craziness around GameStop ticker GME. What they found is prices usually spike, then reverse. Usually the reversals are extremely painful, and in the case of the Robinhood study, the reversals actually became negative returns. We don't chase things like GME, because number one, I don't really feel the great FOMO that other people do, thanks to my tumor. I know the value of sticking to the process, but also because we were around for Pets.com and the crash of 1999-2000, we remember what the aftermath of these frenzies look like. Another study tracked 1,600 Brazilian day traders for a year and found that 97% of them lost money, 97%. In fact, 
only 1% of them earn more than the Brazilian minimum wage. There's more. A study in Taiwan used complete transaction data for the entire Taiwan stock market over a 15-year period. Their conclusion? Less than 1% of the day trading population is able to reliably make money trading. And don't think for a second that applies to the amateurs only. Academic studies overwhelmingly prove professional money managers underperform their benchmarks over a multi-year period. In fact, a staggering 85% of professionals fail to outperform. I could keep going, but you get the idea. Making money in the markets is hard, but it's not impossible. I've spent decades in this business and I've had only three down years. Now, how did someone like me, the son of Italian immigrants from the west side of Chicago, succeed for so long while the vast majority of traders failed? For me, the answer is obvious. You need a system, a process, a trading system that can consistently beat the market, take emotions out of trading, and can survive the ups and downs of the news cycle and irrelevant events. I look for this type of system everywhere, but they're not just sitting on shelves at Target. What I was looking for wasn't available to regular people like you and me. Sure, Wall Street and big hedge funds have these tools, but not us. While I was at Smith Barney or Nico Securities and Commerce Bank Futures, I had access to the best tools in the world, the best software money could buy, the types of systems you couldn't possibly imagine, but they were no longer available to me when I went off on my own. Have you ever felt like you just can't win? Well, you're 100% right. You can't win. And someone else who's much richer, much more connected, and much more powerful is winning day after day while the rest of us struggle and lose money. And the fact is, the playing field simply isn't level, not by a long shot. But that didn't stop me, it actually motivated me. I became obsessed, so I started building my system, and I did pretty well, but I couldn't do it all on my own. I needed help, and the help I needed was lurking inside the very hedge funds that I was looking to beat. After eight years of relentless work on this emotionless system, I met a very special human being. Let's just call him Oz, the man behind the curtain. He went to Northwestern University, received a master's in electrical engineering, he's a math whiz, and he's an insomniac. During one of those sleepless nights, he created and patented a technology that helps to power red light traffic cameras. I hope that doesn't make you hate him. Later, I would learn he was the man who hedge funds actually hired to break their systems, literally. We met after Oz, bought one of my courses, and showed up at my live event at the University of Illinois. With around 100 people in the room from all over the country, he comes up to me just before lunch and says, hey, my name is Oz. I bought your course, and it's great, but I can make it better. Would you like to know how? Now, a lot of people in my position would have likely ignored him. But not me, though. After the last session, I met up with him again to see how he could improve what I had developed. And sure enough, he actually did exactly that. The changes he made are technical, so I won't bore you. But I knew I had to partner up with him. I knew we'd develop the type of system I was after. What I didn't know back then was that was the start of what I now call the 10 stock system. My brain tumor, my 9-11 experience, meeting Oz, these events were random and unrelated, but all of them were needed to create the type of system I knew people like you and I needed. And remember, the criterion is simple. The system must consistently beat the market, take emotions out of trading, and survive the ups and downs of the news cycle and irrelevant events. Let's take that first point. The system must consistently beat the market. Take a look at the 2020 track record. I started sending alerts in March 2020, and we did as follows. Remember earlier when I told you we had two months last year showing losses? Well, the system is designed to be emotionless, so these losses didn't hurt us, not one bit. In fact, as you can see from the chart above, we beat the S&P by an astounding 254%. But what does that mean in real life, with real money? Let's say you have a $25,000 portfolio. How does the 10 stock system compare with some of the other things you could have done in 2020? The first option is trading it on your own with no help. Could you have gotten lucky? Definitely. 
But study after study shows the more likely scenario is you would have taken on massive losses. In most cases, you would have lost it all trying to trade. And remember, that's not me saying it. It's MIT, popular platforms like Robinhood, even the North American Securities Administration Association saying it. In fact, according to the NASAA, there's a 70% chance you would have lost nearly all of your money. So please, even if you decide not to use my proprietary 10 stock system, do not go it alone. The risk is far too great. Now let's say you decided to put it in an S&P index fund like the SPY. You would have made $4,425, or 17.7%, and that's not bad. But had you used my 10 stock system, you would have made $15,698, or 62.8%. That's 254% more than the S&P, a two and a half times return versus the S&P. Remember, it's the same $25,000 portfolio, but the difference in the gains is significant. And get this, you actually take on less risk using the 10-stock system than putting it into an index fund. Take January of 2021, for example. The 10 stock system returned 5.96%, while the S&P, after making new all-time highs, turned around and fell to finish the month down 1.5%. This is because we took profits all month long and had very little exposure to the downturn when it came, and they always come. And then we have the last option, which is do nothing. To me, this is probably the worst category. It gives you the illusion you're playing it safe, but you're not. The problem with the do-nothing crowd is they think they're protected, but they are not. Why? Because their purchasing power is declining. In fact, it's getting obliterated. Take a look at the U.S. money supply chart. The amount of dollars in checking accounts in the banking system exploded in 2020. It increased at the fastest rate in history. Now, zoom in on November 2020. Do you see the jump of more than one trillion? That means inflation is around the corner. Frankly, it's already here and you just don't know it yet. See, the government tells you inflation is only about one to 2%. That's because the government's metrics for calculating real world inflation are at best outdated, at worst, a complete fraud. I can't believe I'm about to say this because I love this country. My father came here as a legal immigrant with a green card and became a citizen worked hard, joined the middle class. I still believe it's the greatest country on earth and I consider myself a patriot. But the way our government portrays the level of inflation to the people reminds me of how deceitful China is with its people. So if you're in the do nothing crowd, you're in a really bad spot. You think you're saving your money, but you're not. You're letting it sit in a bank account and it's wasting away at an alarming rate. You could no longer stand on the sidelines. You have to act now because this situation is only going to get worse. Let me tell you what the 10 stock system is. The core portfolio never has more than 10 stocks. And with every alert, you get the entry points, price targets, and stop losses, and any adjustments we're recommending on any open trades. In other words, each trade has a defined risk. Why? Because this hits on the second point of the perfect system. The system must take emotions out of trading. Let me show you some recent examples. Take a look at Intel. In this example, we took our profits before the drop. We made 11%, while others might have lost over 20% if they held through the price drop. And we know by studying trader psychology, that's exactly what most people do. This is one of the major benefits of the 10 stock system. By following it, you take profits constantly and consistently. While other people could be down 50% in a crash, we could be up 30% because we limited the risk ahead of time and get out while everyone else keeps piling on losses. Another strategy we use to manage our losses is timing based on price action and stop loss adjustment. We get in and out of the trades within weeks and we raise our stop losses when needed to protect capital. In a moment, you'll see why this is so powerful. That way, when we hit our profit targets, we get out and move on to the next trade. We don't look back and wonder if we could have made more because it's irrelevant and counterproductive. Remember, the key is to remove emotion, not give into it. The reverse is also true. If the stop loss gets hit, we don't watch to see if price recover. We simply move on. Losses are part of the game. You should always expect them because it simply doesn't matter. As you saw from the chart earlier, 
our system gave us two losing months, and yet we beat the S&P by 254%. If you want to play this game, you will win and you will lose. And my job is for you to win more often than you lose. My system is designed to win roughly 70% of the time. The key is precise methodology combined with appropriate risk management. And based on our performance in 2020, I know this approach works extremely well. Something else to consider is that we generally look at over 4,000 stocks. And then we narrow it down through our proprietary process to about 100 to 200. And ultimately, we pick the best ones. This allows us to focus on the most profitable trades the market has to offer without wasting time with the losers. And since our hold times tend to be short, we're able to profit over and over again in a short period of time. Take a look at another trade we did in INTC, Intel, as an example. On March 18th, we got in at $45.50. We were out at $53.14 on March 24th, less than a week later. Intel kept going higher, but we do not care because we took our cash and allocated it to something else that was moving. Earlier, I talked about the timing strategy we use with the 10-stock system. Let me show you how powerful this is. Most people use a buy and hold strategy as a way of removing emotion from the equation. In theory, this makes sense, but in practice, it can actually be detrimental. Let's use these Intel trades as an example. As you saw, we traded Intel multiple times last year. But let's say that instead of trading using the 10 stock systems timing and stop loss strategies, you bought on January 1st and sold on December 31st. You'd be sitting on a 17.3% loss. Compare that to what the 10 stock system did with the Intel stock. Remember, this is the same company, Intel, as well as the same period of time. However, instead of buying and holding, we use the 10 stock system and what you actually achieve is this. By simply following the system, you could have made a gain of 11.3%, but here's the kicker. Imagine we did this with multiple names over a full 12 months and annualize that 11.3% gain and it becomes a 68% gain. In other words, we took what would have been a 17.3% loss and turned it into an annualized 68% gain. Can you see the power of combining this system of emotionless trading with timing and strategic stop losses? Let's look at another example, this time in Prudential. Take a look. We were in at $42.50 on March 18th and out at $54 on March 25th. Again, in a week for a quick 27.1% gain. Think about what that means. The only time your money can grow is when it's in the market. But the only time your hard-earned money is at risk is also when it's in the market. If you can pull a 27.1% gain out of the market in a week, that's an annualized return of 1,411%. But it gets even better. Had you gone with a buy and hold strategy, like in the Intel example, you would have had a loss of 17% as shown here in this chart. Compare that to the 10 stock system where we traded in and out of Prudential twice last year with an average hold time of 75 days and you get a whopping 142% annualized return. Simply taking profits and limiting losses, we took what would have been a 17% loss and turned it into a 142% annualized return. Of course, not every trade will be held for such a short period of time. Sometimes we'll see a trade where it makes sense to stay in a bit longer, more like a month or even more. Have a look at AMD, Advanced Micro Devices. We entered at $85 on November 20th, and exited less than a month later on December 15th at $96.85 for a quick 13.9% gain. If you can pull a 13.9% gain out of the market in less than a month, that's an annualized return of 203%. Are you starting to see why the 10 stock system is able to beat the S&P and hand you hedge fund-like gains without having to constantly watch the markets? In the case of AMD, had you gone with a buy and hold approach, you would have done quite well. The total gain would have been an annualized return of 95%. We can all agree that's a great return, but using the 10 stock system, you would have more than doubled that gain. And what's even more impressive is all of this is done automatically for you without you having to think about it. Now take a look at CSCO, Cisco. We got in on April 6th at $41.50 and got out a month later on May 5th at $40.95. As you can see, this was a loss of 1.3%. The momentum faltered, and we continued to adjust our stop loss 
till we got stopped out for a small loss. And again, that's the beauty of the 10 stock system. We protect our downside. If we're up on a trade, we adjust our stop loss. We don't sit and watch our profits disappear. But then take a look at the very next trade, ARNA, Arena Pharmaceuticals. We entered at $51.25 on May 5th and exited on May 21st at $58, which handed us a 13.2% gain. On this trade, let's say you would have gone the buy and hold approach. Again, if you bought on January 1st and sold on December 31st, you would have achieved an impressive gain of 67.3%. Not bad at all. However, using the 10 stock systems timing and stop loss approach, we generated a 13.2% gain in less than three weeks. Annualized, that's a 300% gain. Another example we have from the system is EYE, National Vision Holdings. We entered at $31.50 on July 24th and exited on August 7th at $36.50 for a 15.9% gain. Had you bought EYE on January 1st, and sold it on December 31st, you would have had a nice gain of 38.2%. Again, that's not bad at all. Following the 10 stock system though, we achieved a 15.9% gain in two weeks. That's an annualized 241% return. These are all real stocks traded with real money by our small group of members. And these are all real results. And since the goal is to be consistent over time and not take on more risk than necessary, the gains tend to be smaller. This is something I really need to stress. If these consistent winners, week after week, month after month, and year after year bore you, then this is not for you. I need to state clearly, I'm not going to hand you the next GameStop. I have no interest in that type of trading. It's short-lived, irrational, nonsensical speculation, and that simply isn't what I do. Sure, it's fun when it's all going well, but eventually that crazy game of musical chairs come to an end. The music stops, as it always does, and the reversals are some of the most painful things I've seen. I've seen this movie before, and it's a horror story for most. Personally, I do think a small, very small portion of your capital should be in speculative trades, but that's not what most people do. What my 10 stock system does is simple. It wins. Consistently, and with well-managed downside risk. The one drawback, if you can even call it that, is the individual stock gains are smaller. However, they add up to very big wins over time, as shown by the fact that the 10 stock system outperformed the S&P 500 by 254% last year. You may not know this, but the US stock market ended 2020 on all-time highs. Despite the pandemic, despite the, the shaky start to the year. It broke the prior all-time high record. Remember that study I mentioned earlier, over 85% of professional money managers rarely outperform their benchmarks? What that means is the pros didn't beat the market at the very best, barely kept up with it. The 10 stock system outperformed the market by a huge margin of 254%. Like I said before, if consistent wins just isn't for you, I hope you get some value out of what I've shared with you here but we're not a good fit. However, if you understand massive home runs based on irrational speculation is extremely dangerous to your financial health and well-being, if you can see the value of consistently winning on your trades all year long, then continue to watch. Inside the 10 stock system, you'll get two to eight trade alerts per month. The reason for the high level of activity is what I mentioned before. The wins are smaller, but we're increasing the timing of trades for bigger gains which is why you get those two to eight alerts per month. If you recall, my brain tumor destroyed my pituitary gland, and because of it, I have no physical reaction to stress or fear. I knew from that experience I needed to develop a system that mimics those same feelings for you. Now, I can't do anything, obviously, about your body's natural response to stress, and I certainly would never wish a brain tumor on anyone. But I came up with an ingenious way to experience little to no stress when following the trade alerts that I send you. How's that even possible? All the alerts are sent out at night. You don't have to watch the markets tick by tick wondering if you've made the right decision and you won't be distracted by intraday craziness. Right before bedtime, which incidentally is the time when the least amount of stress hormones are in your body, you'll review the alert I've sent you, punch in a few numbers, enter your trade, and then, well then when you sleep, with a peace of mind knowing your entire trade 
the entire trade, position size, risk exposure, target, profit, etc., is already set. The only thing you have to do before the market opens is make sure you're not getting in below the stop price that we sent you in the alert. That's it. If there's anyone who knows the huge advantage you get by removing stress and emotions from trading, it's me. It's this edge that's given me a winning track record for at least eight of the last 10 years. That's why the financial news shows always call me fair interviews and feedback on the markets. Even as recently as August 21st, 2020, right in the middle of a pandemic, who did Yahoo News call? I truly believe sending you the alerts this way is how you win over and over again by setting up the trade, the entire trade, before you go to sleep and only checking it once in the morning, which allows you to go about your day without thinking or worrying about what the stock market is doing. Remember, the way I have you structure the trade, you'll know exactly when to get in and when to get out. Profits will be taken automatically. No need to stare at your screen all day long and run the chance of being emotional and having that get in the way. The downside risk is covered. You'll know ahead of time what your risk is. The upside profit potential is also covered. You won't have to wonder when to sell and take profits. Again, all of this is done automatically the night before when you follow the alert I'll send you. So in the evening, around 7 p.m. Eastern time, you'll get an email which looks like this. Quick and easy. I'll tell you exactly what you need to do and you'll have plenty of time to act. From the comfort of your own home, and in fact, so simple, you can even do it all on your phone. No need to even fire up your computer. Just a few clicks to enter the number of shares and your entry price, your profit target, and then let the market work for you. Remember, our profit targets are automatic. So when the profit target gets triggered, money is automatically deposited into your account. You don't do a thing. Imagine waking up with $5,000 in profits or even $10,000 and realizing you didn't have to be glued to your computer screen. You didn't have to experience the roller coaster madness of the markets. You did this without letting your stress and emotion get in the way. Another thing to keep in mind is that you'll always hear from me. Even if there's no changes to the portfolio on a given day, I'll still email you and let you know nothing's changing. This is white glove service and I'll hold your hand every step of the way. And if you have any questions, if something doesn't make sense, ask me. I'll host a Q&A session to answer your questions about the service. Also, once a month, I'll give you my thoughts on the market and the economy. It's a quick read that will keep you informed. I also cover topics you might not read about in the Wall Street Journal or hear about in the mainstream financial media. I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything, I'll tell you the truth. On top of that, you'll receive a portfolio update video from me every two weeks. I'm not the prettiest face on the planet, but every two weeks, I'll show up in your email looking like this. The most recent topics in my video have been the GameStop frenzy, as well as stimulus and that's effects on the markets. And finally, once per quarter, I'll review our performance. I'll look at our winners and our losers and summarize how we did compared to the S&P. As you might imagine, this type of service isn't cheap. Price is fair, it's certainly not cheap. The value of a lifetime subscription is about $10,000. The cost for a one-year membership is $3,000. Like I said, it's not cheap, but it's fair. As I mentioned earlier, if you used a $25,000 portfolio and followed our alerts for 2020, the 10 stock system could have made you $15,698. So really, you shouldn't overthink this. Here's why. The moment you become a member of the 10 stock system, you get access to a suite of life-changing, money-making resources and benefits. And that's no exaggeration, as we've seen here today from members like our current member, Alan. Hi, Bob. Closed my 50th trade today since being a member since March 23rd, 2020. Closed realized profits. $27,911.20. Average $3,488.90 per month. Appreciate all your efforts and mentorship. Alan. The 10 Stock System members receive access to my entire portfolio of alerts with detailed buy up to prices, entry and exit prices. In the past, subscribers who followed these alerts have seen gains as high as 27.1% 
23.3%, 19.4%. That's enough to pay for the service. Remember, one of my biggest benefits of my 10 stock system of alerts is you get to take gains over and over. It allows you to take thousands of dollars and large percentage gains off the table and not worry about whether the value of your portfolio fluctuates. And don't forget the video updates I send out every two weeks. I never hide from you. I'm just not wired that way. I'll give you the good, the bad, and the ugly on the markets. If the system is signaling for us to back off, that's exactly what we'll do, and I'll tell you about it. Now, as the newest member of the 10 stock system, you'll be lined up to profit immediately. The first thing you'll get your hands on is my position size calculator training video, where we dive deep into one of the most important areas of trading. The topic can be quite boring, but if you've ever asked yourself how much or how little of a particular stock to buy, or if you're wondering what to do with the two to eight alerts that you get from the 10 stock system, this is a video you'll wanna watch. Truth is at $3,000 a year, the 10 stock system is a steal. And while I don't know how long I'll keep the membership open, I can tell you I'm already planning the next price increase because frankly, $3,000 is simply too good. But today, you won't pay anywhere near that. And that's for two very important reasons. First, because you watched this far, I know you're serious about finally being one of those people who knows exactly what to do amid all the Wall Street craziness that scares the hell out of everyone else without the dangerous ups and downs most traders go through. For this reason, I wanna make it a complete no-brainer for you to join and take advantage of all the emotionless trading. And second, because this is the first time I've officially opened up the 10 stock system to a large group of new subscribers. Aside from the small circle of subscribers who have been profiting handsomely, this is the first time I've opened up access. For those two reasons, I'm going to offer you an incredible deal. I'm gonna slash half off the yearly new membership fee. Instead of $3,000 for a very short time, you'll get a full year for half off. That's just $1,500. So today, you get access to hedge fund quality research, which allows you to profit without letting stress and emotions derail you. In other words, today only, and for a very short period of time, you'll get recommendations, guidance, and research into this market for around $28 per week. You see why I told you earlier not to overthink this, not to procrastinate? All you have to do is skip one night out at a restaurant per month, and that's enough to get you in front of these nightly alerts that can lead to very nice profits. Of course, not every trade is a winner, but with a 70% win rate, you'll have what I call profit windows more often than not. And those profit windows add up to very big gains, life-changing gains where you potentially never have to worry about money again. You can add those restaurant visits back in and more. So when you become the newest member of the 10 stock system right now, you'll get to join for just $1,500 per year, a 50% discount. You get it for half off the regular price, which comes to a measly $28 a week. You should see an order button below this screen now. You'll be taken to a secure membership enrollment form where you can review the details of your offer and make sure it's the right offer for you. You get all the membership benefits discussed here, instant access to the position calculator training video, the core portfolio, nightly alerts with full instructions, video updates every two weeks, and detailed portfolio performance tracking. You'll get all of this for just $1,500 which is just $28 a week. Plus another bonus, if you sign up today, I will send you an additional set of trades. I call them high beta trades. These are often faster moving and can include currency and commodity ETFs that don't make it to our initial screen, but still not only have the opportunity to provide you with extra profit, but can move faster and often farther than our core trades. They are riskier, but because we control risk, and still use responsible position sizing, they can be a powerful addition to any portfolio. Last year, our high beta trades had a slightly lower winning percentage, but a higher reward to risk and shorter hold times than our core portfolio did, resulting in higher annualized returns. High beta trades made a full 24% more profit on average per trade than the core trades did. These can really move. 
Remember, if you want a full breakdown, you can click on the button now. This is a very time sensitive offer being made to you. And I can tell you, you may not see the 10 stock system again, ever. Don't put this off. Don't procrastinate. At just $28 a week for a short time only, this is truly a no-brainer. Thank you.